Siri, what is the temperature? It's minus 47 degrees outside. Air temperature in Antarctica is negative 14.8 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius. Here it is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 47 degrees Celsius. that is allied with Russia, 280 miles away from the North Pole. Since this place is the most northeastern point of Siberia, it is very much isolated from the rest of the world. Outside temperature is around negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling water is about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Turns into ice crystals. The lowest air temperature ever measured in this region is negative 96.16 degrees Fahrenheit. It is as if it belongs to another planet. A banana left outside can turn into a hammer in minutes. People cannot wear metal frame glasses because the metal could stick to their skin. And if they wanted to take off their glass, their flesh might be cut out. This is a piece of meat that looks very much like human flesh. Let's just put it in contact with metal. As you can see, these are natural gas pipes and they have to be laid above the ground because the underground is frozen with ice. There is actually a 100 foot thick mass of ice under the city. Look, this river is completely frozen. During the Soviet era, people who contradicted Stalin's ideas were exiled to the Sakha Republic. They were politicians, businessmen, etc. As a matter of fact, some of these people who live in Yakutsk right now are their grandchildren. So this place used to be a land of exile. Today there is a city life going on. But we could call this life an ice hell. It pushes the limits of human nature. No matter how much we bundle up, nothing is enough to keep our bodies warm. If you have a car here, you have a big problem. Winter lasts for six to seven months here, and in that time, you can never drive your car. If you insist on driving it, you can never stop your vehicle's engine. For example, the car with a running engine you can see here is empty. There is nobody inside. There are hundreds of cars like this. The reason why the engine is running, if it stops, it can be completely covered with ice and the engine oil will freeze. As you can see, the owner of this vehicle must have decided not to run this or her car for a while just after 20 minutes of the engine being off. It is common to give up hope. Another frozen car here, waiting to be reused next summer. This car is running, right? Let's see if there is anybody inside. Yeah, nobody. Can you imagine what a huge base of energy this actually is? Fortunately, Russia is a country that is quite rich in oil and natural gas resources. Even the exhaust smoke freezes, that's how cold it is. There are special covers for protection. Sometimes this is not enough too. People who can afford it keep their vehicles in a heated garage. Because these vehicles are constantly running, there is a constant layer of exhaust smoke. Range of visibility is often below 200 feet due to the smoke. The houses here have completely different architecture. The reason why the buildings are built on pillars is that the ground is covered with ice and there is a possibility of ice cream. Old houses start to lean over after a decade or so because the amount of ice either increases or decreases. It feels like it's a needle. The worst thing that will happen is to get frost. Considering a refrigerator operates at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, a freezer operates at about negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the temperature here is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, everywhere you can see here to function is a very high-tech freezer. That's why some people are able to store their fruits or their meat just by hanging them outside their windows. Can I make a sled out of this?
just took off my gloves for just a minute for filming. Now it hurts terribly. My eyelashes are frozen too. I'm trying to break the ice. Move, move. If you would stay outside for that period of minutes, you would experience problems such as skin burns. Chill. Start with the needle print like me. Cross it. Follow my sensation. And then, you could resolve it. She took off her gloves for just five minutes to film it. Her fingers instantly turned white. Our microphone is giving a red warning. It is not working properly. The camera is also not working as it should. <laughs> this cover is frozen. Our phones don't work as well. Her battery was about 10% a couple of minutes ago. And then it suddenly died, whereas it was actually full. What you see behind me is a cemetery. The thickness of the ice under my shoes is about 100 foot. And this ice mass under the city does not melt even in the summer. So, how do people bury the dead? They gather pieces of coal and burn them for two to three days. Once the coal is burned, the blocks of ice fall and it can be easily removed using shovels. Finally, the area can be excavated to a depth of six to seven feet. The body of a person who died 100 or 200 years ago can be found very robust even today. 20% of the world's total diamond resources are in the Kurds. In addition to that, there are also all the elements in the periodic table. There are many mammoth and dinosaur fossils on the Yakutia territories. In these areas where mammoths live, their intact corpses still show as the ice melts today. In this land where people cannot engage in agriculture or farming, people eat fish. One of the most important features of this market is that they display the fish in public stalls rather than in refrigerators. Outside is much colder than any refrigerator. A piece of meat left outside won't spoil for months. There are also frozen rabbits here. They are consumed a lot, including with the ducks. Horse meat is also very common. It is about 45 pounds. They take this fish as a whole, put it outside and consume it for days. This one is also on sale. It never spoils, of course. Here are not moving at all. They stand on such first, they do not feel the cold coming to their feet. Yakutian people, who make up the majority of the population, are Turkic in origin. 38% of the population are Russian in origin. <laughs> okay, my bad. There are only such dogs here. Unfortunately, cats cannot survive. Only mammals with a really thick fur. There are two layers of glass inside the cars. So when the air conditioner warms the interior, it doesn't lose its temperature immediately. The scariest thing about me is that people whose cars break down have a risk of dying if they cannot fix it within 30 minutes. Otherwise, engine oil under the hood freezes in minutes. If people get stranded in these rural areas with no food, they have no choice but to freeze to them within a couple of hours. That's why every driver carries a tool belt in his or her comfort. Our journey to the adventure is complete. these mysterious Yakut people. Can you see it? As thick as my finger. I cannot feel it. It's quite numb. Look, my other ear is much thinner. Horses here are much shorter than the usual horses. Their bodies are conditioned to be short. That's how they can keep themselves warmer. Less surface area to worry about. They gave us their own clothes. They bundled up. Mm. 
You can tell by looking at the frozen boat that we're walking on a frozen lake. We try to hit it in a 90 degree. We just drill it 20 to 25 feet diameter hole. Cows will come and meet their water needs. We're constantly removing the ice. How long it takes for this water to begin? Cows in this village are always kept in the barns in the winter. <laughs> They don't ever feel cold. They do, of course. That's why they don't spend much time outside. What exactly? Your ear got bitten. If like it lasted longer, it will be very dangerous. They will have to cut it. If they cannot save it, they can cut it because the, the cells are dead. For your ear, it's a traditional Yakut medicine. Bad or uh, bad. Where? Yeah, my father took it. Now my ear is yeah. burning. Yeah. I feel it's so hot. Sometimes people drink too much and they fall asleep somewhere outside. And one night outside, some people didn't have proper clothes and they went to the woods and their car broke down. They couldn't call someone because no phone service. July, the average daily temperature is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to global warming, ice melts are 
world is melting and nanotubes are coming out. But also viruses hiding for thousands of years, which modern humans have never met before, can come to life. When Europeans migrated to North America, the food they took with themselves in the country killed most of the Native Americans who had been isolated for centuries. Blue didn't kill us because our immune system was strong. Similarly, ancient diseases to which we are not immune can come to light with the melting of the ice in these regions of the world and have devastating consequences. Thank you for watching. This video was the first episode of a travel documentary series called Rediscovery. I go to unique places which are not known to many and make a documentary about them with a comprehensive approach. The next coming video on this channel will be the second episode of Rediscovery. I went inside of this huge